Hi, I'm Jaden Williams and I'm a practicing pagan from Hrathi. Today, I'll be talking to you about what I do with my work with spirits and my experiences with them. Okay, the first thing you should do before you contact spirits of any kind is to open a circle. This is a very important factor as it offers protection for you and anyone who surrounds you at the current time from any spiritual harm. Okay, and I'll show you how. <clears throat> guardians of North, Guardians of Earth, we call to you. Hear our call, come to us, join with, protect us and complete our circle. Guardians of East, Guardians of Air, we call to you. We ask you come join us. Watch over, guide and protect us and complete our circle. <clears throat> guardians of South, Guardians of Fire, we call to you. We ask that you come to us, join with, watch over, protect us, and complete our circle. Guardians of West, Guardians of Water, we call to you. You ask that you come to us, join with, guide, protect, and complete our circle. <clears throat> we call to any spirits that surround us here and spirits of our ancestors we ask that you come forth join with us watch over, protect us and complete our circle ok now that the circle has been open and that we know we're protected here I can now tell you about some of the past experiences of my working with spirits and the people that I know of who have worked with spirits. Okay, well the first story I've got about any spiritual activity would be right here within my own home. This is the hallway of my home. Um, I can recall an occasion where me and a few other people were here trying to deal with some spiritual activity and well we heard noises coming from out the hall here so we took a walk out here and as we did one of the people who were here noticed that the light shade in the hallway was actually moving rather rapidly. They wasn't the only one who noticed this. Everyone in the location at the time also noticed that it was moving. At a particular moment in time when we were all focused on the light shade, we heard a bang noise coming from behind us. We had thought that it possibly could have been a frying pan falling, but it turns out that it happened to be one of the gongs that I had for ornamental purposes on a wall. It had actually fallen. In that said event, the gong was positioned up here on the wall. There was no way it could have fell on its, you know, what I'm call the screws are pretty much tight in the wall. Where it did fall was right here on the floor, pretty much in front of where I am stood at the moment. We then heard a hissing noise coming from the hallway, which basically sounded like what an angry snake would have sounded. We then proceeded to carry on with the spiritual activity here and thus move the spirit that was causing problems on. For the second story of my uh, practices of spirits and experience of them, we go to the stone circle down in Sandy in Hlethi. We was here one night, myself and a few friends. We'd just finished up practicing the craft that we share. We'd just literally closed the circle and we all felt a presence from behind the rock that I'm standing near. It was then established that the presence belonged to a child from the 1940s period of what we thought at the time. On further communication with the said child, it didn't turn out to be the case, unfortunately. 
the child was in itself what would be seen as a masquerade. It was a mask, really, hiding the true identity of what we'd actually had made contact with. The being we'd made contact with is what's known to many as a shade. You may have seen these in Hollywood films depicted as many different things. But a shade, in true reality, is just a lesser spirit. Something of a scavenger. They uh, seek out spiritually weak ghosts or even people from time to time. And they'll attach themselves to them. In this circumstance, we thought that it was just one of them. <clears throat> and it turns out that this particular shade was actually part of a more larger pack, which on our way out of the area in Sandy Park, we had actually encountered near enough seven or eight of these actual beings here. On the night that uh, I've been talking about so far, the presence of the young boy who was uh, fell towards this rock, we later discovered was hiding in this very spot, sat there almost cowering. But then we actually felt the true presence of it coming from around the corner again of this rock towards the back. After discovering the spirit of the child who had been cowering down beside the rock here, me and my friends then decided to to actually take hands with the spirit child and walk around the rock here with him. And by the time we got here, my spirit guide had decided to intervene and warn us that the spirit that we'd actually connected with was not the true spirit, but instead, another spirit had decided to show us this and make us believe that it was its true form. The spirit of the boy actually belonged to another case that I had dealt with earlier in my life. Once me and the people involved discovered the true intent of the spirit that we'd made contact with, we then decided to erect a circle of protection over ourselves as we left the sandy area and kept said circle in place until we felt safe from any spirits around here and whatever intent they had planned for us.